A very good morning to everyone. of this webinar organized by center of excellence of strategic hrm and corporate governance of faculty of management today we have gathered here to talk about learning and development to address the students we have Now, I request Ms. Babita to take over and enlighten the students. Ma'am, you may please switch on your camera and mic and take over. Very good morning, students. I'm Babita. Ma'am has already introduced me. Ma'am, uh, oh. you are able to hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. Okay, okay, I can hear you. So, very uh, good morning to all of you. And uh, I really uh, uh, appreciate the college uh, for taking up this kind of sessions for the student. And you students are so lucky uh, that you are part of uh, Chandigarh Group of Colleges. And uh, just because due to COVID, we all got opportunity to interact with each other. And this is really a great platform to uh, guide you students. And uh, I also feel so privileged that I am again a part of uh, Chandigarh Group of Colleges today, uh, taking up this webinar. Uh, thank you, college, and uh, thank you, students. Uh, we are here for a uh, one-hour session. Here, uh, we'll talk more about uh, learning and development. So uh, learning and development, uh, directly before coming on to the topic, I'll just try to make you understand and brief you why we will start with this topic. Being uh, a student, you can understand the importance of uh, uh, development. Here, uh, here, your, uh, here your communication skills uh, play a very major role. And uh, ma'am, your background is a lot of voice. I'm going to close it. The volume is closed. Uh, coming back, uh, here we'll understand more about the development part and how you student will able to understand uh, the importance of group discussion, the importance of your personality development, the importance of interview where you have to groom yourself. You know, it is a holistic development which you have to give a lot of input because MBA, uh, way uh, we are taking up this degree, makes you understand that it is more of your communication skills and your personality. And then your knowledge, of course, what you are learning uh, throughout your uh, degree, uh, throughout your course, which inputs you are getting from the college, that is more of theoretic. But then grooming yourself is again one important aspect. Now, how we'll uh, move on, because this is a very vast topic. In one hour, it is very difficult to complete the whole topic, but I'll try to summarize uh, with everything so that you can gather some information and by the time you can start improving and developing yourself. I'll start with my presentation. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, I'll take up the presentation. You'll understand more in a better form. See what the companies are doing. What is the criteria of selection? We should understand this. Every company, when they come for recruitment, they have a set criteria for the recruit. They know what kind of students they want to pick, what they are expecting from students to perform. Being a student, we prepare a lot 
and then we uh, enter in uh, interview session we enter in gd then we say uh, we spoke so much and i was so confident still i did not got selected some student they say i was speaking something i i, I never sat quiet but i was talking all the time but still not got selected there so many reasons but my dear students you have to understand once you are going for interview for any company this is a scrutinizing criteria of any company because when they are coming for recruitment they with 50 should lot of 50 or 200 students they might be taking only 10 and how they pick the, those 10 students maybe one of the brightest students of your class who has been scoring 89 percentile 98 percentile but still not got selected but the other guy who is smart enough who is very confident smart talking intelligent will take up this job so there are certain criteria so how to understand before entering in any interview or any company what you have to do is first you have to study about the company what profile they are looking for and for those profile what are the criteria they might be looking for right and according to that then you have to prepare yourself for the gd topics what you have to speak because unless until you you don't have knowledge about the topic you won't able to speak so you have to read a lot you have to learn a lot and then only you can in, uh, enter into gd session because they have to screen it had up uh, 100 or 200 students they cannot take uh, uh, you know a personal interview so they screen out student they take a lot and from that they start their pi so it is based more on discussion so how how good you are at discussing what all uh, skills that is required uh, uh, to develop yourself how you will speak main kaise bolunga or how i put my words forward how they will understand so there are certain skills what they are judging see how good you are at communication will be judged in a group up when you are sitting in a group how you are performing how you are talking how you are speaking what is the note of your speaking are you aggressive are you a good listener you have to be a very good listener when you are sitting in a gym how you put your point forward then your leadership quality then your decision making quality your analytical skill your subject knowledge your problem solving like how critical thinker you are how you can think out of the box your attitude your confidence level see once you are entering in a gd room when you are sitting you, you are asked to sit in a circle or a semi circle an observer is sitting there one thing you have to keep it in mind when you are entering in any gd session carry a small piece of paper or if they are providing it is well and good otherwise you should have a pen and take once you enter and don't talk to anyone you have to sit very quietly at your place and when observer asks you to start with a topic then only you have to start once you enter and they'll give you your topic yeah you don't have to discuss with anyone because they won't ask you to sit quiet they'll be keep observing you so when you are sitting just uh, assemble yourself try to recall what quality good points you have jot down your three four points where you have to speak on right there are certain rules like your appearance how how well dressed you are you are mba student your appearance should be very smart very confident once you are entering and then when you are talking your eye contact your eye contact with everyone is required avoid dominance you don't have to dominate everyone because you are a leader you are ought to be a leader stop interrupting anyone because that is a platform where everyone has their own viewpoint and they have full right to talk your clarity of speech and thoughts what you are talking what you want to say it should be clear sometimes what happens we understand what we want to talk but others will not understand what you are talking you should talk to the top you you cannot talk in relevant like just for the sake of speaking you have to, you are sitting in gd you have to speak because you want to get selected so you are talking so that is a wrong, very wrong concept you have to talk something very logical related to the talk to dive try to divert the talk right there are different kind of gds like topic based case based article based we won't go more detail into this uh, we'll move forward what are do's and don'ts of gds we'll start with this Once you are entering in, your mindset should be full focus 
what you are today you have planned and you have to speak and how you start with the topic first try to understand what the topic is given and then try to assemble all the data that you have studied and then only start speaking the first thing person who initiate the topic always remember student once if you initiate the topic you are assumed as a good leader plus when you are talking that means you are full of knowledge and confidence that is assumed by a person who is observing so when if you want to grab this opportunity you should speak first then don't try to take an eye contact with the observer because he or she is sitting there just to observe you you have to give eye contact with the students to whom you are your colleagues to whom with, with whom you are having this gd session then participation then you how you are participating then you have to if somebody is trying to uh, pull your topic you cannot be that rigid to hold the topic and sit and come to listen to people because others also want to speak so a good leader you have to show that you are a good leader and then you are giving equal chances and opportunity to speak when other wants to speak and then uh, you have to ignore acknowledge them yes whatever he was saying is absolutely true and then you can add to your point i'll give you a very good example in this when you are sitting in a jeep how i'll start i'll you don't have to uh, tell your name until unless they are they have asked you otherwise they assign the numbers uh, the sequential numbers how you are sitting there when you the topic is given and bell starts and then you have to start good morning friends today you have to introduce the topic and then you come to the point speak at the topic of discussion which i feel today and then very pleasing words like of course thank you my dear friend acknowledging every very nice very well said try to assemble three four try to recollect three four points which students have uh, talked about and a very good point so you can acknowledge them by adding those points in your uh, during your uh, participation so uh, it is very much important to acknowledge in a group then your pitch should be little strong uh, uh, students or especially girls whose pitch is low so they have to raise their pitch and talk because if your pitch is not little high you won't be able to take up the first thing second thing my suggestion to those students whose uh, pitch is low they should try to take the topic first otherwise uh, throughout the session they will not get the opportunity they will try to enter in but they'll exit because the person who is has high volume will take up the topic then uh, uh, like sometimes topics are so hot that your topic of discussion lends up to debate don't make a debatable topic because it happens many company when they sit in a group they disqualify whole group whole group is disqualified so try if one person who is trying to when when this topic is uh, trying to turn towards debate debate the uh, intelligent person sitting in the group what he will do he will try to cool down the session and bring the topic to the mainstream line and person sometimes there are few students who will take divert the topic it will uh, go out of the way and they start talking all they want they have knowledge about it but it should not be done it should be more constructive of arguments rather than destructive one. so we are sitting together to discuss right so all what you have to do is you have to be a good listener then you have to project yourself that you uh, uh, you are you are you are a good listener you are a good learner you know how to appreciate every see all these qualities has are been observed at that point of time and then again talking about the points see if you don't have much to talk about that topic what you can do is recollect few points and try to talk on those points if you don't have your own uh, 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 points if you are feeling nervous so what you can do is take two or three points from others and appreciate and start adding something to that then whatever you are talking should be authentic don't give any fake inquiry about figures and numbers and dates a person who is sitting there might be more intelligent you and he will contradict your statement so you should be very much clear what you are talking 
uh, all facts and figures which you are talking should be very much clear then only talk about it otherwise no need of giving any specific date time or duration or any any figures right <clears throat> then you have while you're uh, in a group as i said think out of the box how differently in different dimensions you are taking the topic what different way you can think the process of thinking so this also includes to your personality how good speaker you are and how good knowledge you possess about other areas and uh, uh, other topics right then appreciation you should have a very good strategy to appreciate everyone every time when you are sitting you might get the opportunity to speak twice or thrice it depends on the group how much time they give but your strategy should be very much clear about the entry and exit now why, why i am talking about exit a uh, smart student sitting in a group knows that this topic had been assigned to us for only 10 minutes or 20 minutes after 20 minutes this topic will start so it in 18th minute he will start interrupting by saying students as we see time is going to be up let's summarize with the topic as our friend then you take uh, uh, some points as our friend uh, uh, xyz nop said this and we collect the points and try summarizing and appreciating and then summarize the point so exit point and entry point both the point in uh, gd is very important then what what is a team play we all are doing mba we uh, basically management students so we should understand uh, the importance of team play a person who is sitting there managing both the team because a person who start with the topic will take up the topic in which direction the topic will go how do students will uh, uh, speak on the topic so the person who is taking up the topic should be smart enough to take the topic in a proper right direction in a proper platform and if it is diverting again try to bring the topic on the platform so this should be the point of discussion you should you, I, here one more important point you should never say that you are wrong what you said repeat again how can you say that all these types of statement is prohibited in gds right so your professional etiquette and courtesy is observed so what you have to do you can say very politely in a different form my my dear friend what you were saying may be absolutely right in your point of view but what i feel this is how you can put it because this is what you are feeling and what you have learned or what you have read then this is how you can uh, uh, contradict the statement but directly when pointing anyone is beyond the ethic of gd and this is what like a very sometimes very stressful atmosphere is created so you don't have to overreact you don't have to show your aggression uh, like you started pen pointing like hand and then your body expressions you have to calm down with your body expression your facial expression because everything is speaking your eyes so those aggression with that control you have to take up this gd so this is what what you should do what you should not do in gd again we'll come up with this uh, let me see the time uh, huh. okay so uh, when you are sitting in a group don't shout if you are not planned then try to assemble things when students are talking about it and then uh, uh, put your points forward arrogance negative attitude negative attitude like every time if anybody some students they do if somebody is talking they try to point out the negative points and stretch on that they will through the gd they will not speak anything positive but every time he is after every student everyone will say anything he will be or she will be talking against it so you don't have to do that your arrogance and your uh, negative attitude should be controlled at that point of time uh, when others are speaking laughing at them pointing out at them this is not etiquette whatever they are saying they are talking about the topic is their understanding they are talking they are they are putting their point of view 
what you have to do you have to put your point of so there is no point of making fun or laughing to any uh, any person uh, sitting out there and every person who is sitting is responsible for the fun it is not a one whole person who is talking about and if somebody wants to speak speak during uh, the session and twice or thrice he or she tried it is the responsibility of group to give opportunity to that person also to speak up yes uh, uh, she wanted to put some point yes madam please this is how you initiate someone and this is how it shows your qualities also when you are in a group you should not have any cross discussion like if somebody is saying and you are crossing up and talking against it and uh, putting your point forward then he will again put his point forward and this will lead again to dispute among the group and whole group can get disqualified sometimes we become so restless start bagging uh, the table and then you like do uh, you give body gestures like this and like this you don't have to uh, put yourself no unnecessary uh, unnecessary arguments or discussions uh, you don't have to make proof your point that yes i am right yes i am right you are wrong so no kind of proof is there no folding of hands and cross legs sitting uh, in in the group if it is a rolling chair you don't have to move all the time like this you have to sit in a proper position with your hands like this or any comfortable position but it should show your attitude right so and then uh, 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 while you are talking you should be into a very teasing note you cannot be in a, a very arrogant note so these are few points which uh, shows that you are now fully prepared for your gd any other question you would like to ask uh, we can related to gd we can talk later now i i'll come in, i'll come to uh, interview skills before entering to interview skills students i just wanted to know uh, have we set goals humne kya apna goal set kiya hai agar nahi kiya hai sabse pehle first and foremost thing you should do is your goal setting because if you are a very structured or very uh, systemized personality and uh, ready for a job your goals will be very much good if you go and read any success story or if you read any success entrepreneurs or if you see any successful businessman you will see they all have goals without goals you know life is miserable you will keep on moving in all direction but the end you won't able to attain anything in your career so my dear students uh, you have to set your goals if you find any problem in setting goals uh we can help you your teachers can help you or uh, you can connect with me any time i can help you guide you how to set goals because it is very much important now coming i will discuss few questions uh during the interview uh which is frequently asked and how you will be answering this question uh, i'll give you few uh, suggestions of what you could uh, talk more on, on those uh, points apart from this uh, uh, when you are entering for interview how you have to behave how you have to sit how you have to talk how you have to enter you know uh, this is all uh, part of your personality development uh, as i will not uh, deviate myself uh, from the topic but i i'll come back to the topic it is it was just a small brief uh, introduction about what all is required for pi okay so uh, you all know Uh, uh the very first question which uh, is uh, asked is tell us something about yourself now when this question come you say ki uh, it is uh, you start uh, with my name is this my father's name is this my mother's name is this and uh, i did schooling uh, from here see tell me something about yourself is they want to know about you you should talk more about you. because what is how they will know it when you are going for an interview he j- they just saw you why why they you were sitting for gd after gd you are entering uh, for interview in interview your 
resume or your bio data or your uh, CV, any of these must be reached in and they have understood you through that paper. So no fake information on that paper. All information which you provide them should be very much true because you may pot during the interview because uh, if you provide fake information, then it will be one of the reasons for your rejection, right? Tell you something about yourself, you'll start with your name, right? Then talk more of your achievements. What, what did you achieve in life? What was your dream and how you reached out to that dream? See, everything is there on your paper, but here you have to talk more about your skills, you have to talk more about your learnings, your understanding, and how you have uh, groomed yourself and now what you are and what qualities you possess because they are buying a product. Right? In a marketing language, you are a product where they want all the features with minimal, minimum rates and very good services. So how, how you will uh, do that? How you you can only do that if you are, your goals are defined. Or you can do your SOT analysis. If your SOT analysis, if you have done it very seriously, you will answer all these questions very smooth. Otherwise, you will sit in front and then you will, uh, uh, if you're not organized, uh, you won't be able to talk much, much about yourself for more than two minutes. Students they talk, don't talk about themselves for one minute. In the journey of 18, 19 years or 23, maybe you students must be 2023. 20, so you are not able to speak for 20 minutes also about yourself. That means you know better your friend than yourself. What are her dislikes or uh, what are her likes and uh, uh, how she what she is good at, but you never know what you are at. If you are you possess some good qualities, you should know. You should try to identify. And how you'll identify all those qualities? You, will, you can identify only through SWOT analysis. You should ask your teachers to help you out because of all these uh, theories which has come up has given up very good output. Still, SWOT analysis has been has been done with uh, companies. Even still now, I do sort of analysis. I try to identify my area of improvement, my strength, my weaknesses, how to work on my weaknesses. You know, it, it, is, it is to groom ourselves. So tell me about yourself, should be more about you. If they ask, tell me something about your family, then you start with your family. If they tell, ask you, okay, okay, what extra skills you possess apart from this paper, what you will do? You will be able to talk only when you have some other inputs. If you have built yourself with some other good qualities. So when you are studying, you should work more on projects. You should take more assignments. You should encourage uh, uh, your friends and your group to be more into some development work. So this, all this area of like, it should be more of practical learning than a theoretical learning where you can uh, put yourself forward to speak more about yourself. The other question, why should we select you? Very good question. Why should they select you? Now again, here what you will talk. Student, don't answer this question. Sir, because I'm very good. Sir, because I secured 99 percentile. Throughout my academics, I was very good. What do you have to do with your academics? They, they want a, they are hiring a person for certain kind of profile and jobs, right? So there, the selection criteria, what should be? Why should? Then you have to talk more about your qualities and this will, you will get all this answer from your strength. Mention your key skills and greatest strength. Again, see, what are your key skills? What you are good at? You can uh, you can say I'm a uh, I have got very good communication skills, convincing power. Uh, I'm a go getter. I think out of the box. You can talk so many things about. It. But again, this question can be answered only after sort analysis. 
what are your greatest weaknesses? This is a very important and a very uh, difficult question to answer. सब हम अपनी वीकनेस कैसे बता रहे हैं कोई आप सबकी कमजोरी पूछेगा तो आप कमजोरी बताओगे बट यस फॉर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडेंट इट इज आस्ट बट अगेन हियर देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ वीकनेसेस वेन यू डो डू योर सॉफ्ट एनालिसिस स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस हियर विद दिस वीकनेस इट इज ऑन पेपर विद सॉट एनालिसिस वेर यू हैव टू प्रूव एंड अपग्रेड योर सेल्फ लाइक इफ आई है इफ आई स्टार्ट जॉटिंग डाउन माई स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस if i have to put down my strength uh, i able to uh, identify two or three strength and after that i'll set what are my strength then i have to recognize myself my parents appreciate me that i'm very good at uh, this job my friends appreciate me that i'm a good orator i'm a good writer right so this is how you uh, start arranging yourself now weakness my communication is weak i cannot talk uh, uh, in a good language english english my english is weak i cannot speak well now my knowledge is poor i don't read books right? i i have no confidence uh, i'm not able to uh, face uh, interviews or i'm not able to take up uh, uh, i'm not able to sit in gds or i'm not uh, able to speak in front of my class For any kind of presentation, you know why does this happen? It is a, a for students uh, who who are good uh, uh, with knowledge. It is a temporary fear. It is just a fear of. It is just a stage fear for two or three times, you know? and then you have to give yourself a challenge, and then you have to come to the stage uh, for one or two or three times. And I can assure you, your this fear will go. But this is again a challenge. Here, what you are doing, you are working on your weakness. You have, you are moving a step ahead to your weakness that you have identified your weakness, and now you are working. After every ten or fifteen days, you should analyze your uh, thought. You should see your strength and you should see your weakness. Is your weakness turned to strength or not? If it is not, in fifteen days also, that it is a matter of a question that why it is not happening. then you should ask your teacher or you should go to your counselor or you can connect with me talk to anyone and start discussing this is what is happening i'm not able to overcome with this uh, uh, area so your uh, everyone will support you your teacher will support you. so your weakness this is how your weakness will overcome and to strength now what weakness you will write in your resume in your resume your weakness are those weakness which are strength for the company right like for example i'll give you two example that if i say i'm a lazy i'm very lazy but it is strength for a company why right? because all lazy people they are very creative in thinking the thinking power is very uh, 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 much more uh, better than a normal student why right? because Easy people keep on thinking uh, of doing the work in a shortest time. Just imagine who invented remote control, right? So this is how it uh, you have to talk about. Like uh, I'm an emotional person. Weakness. So my weakness is I'm emotional. While, but it is strength for the company because my connect with my colleagues and my uh, junior employees will be very strong. being an emotional person i am able to uh, uh, create a strong bond between all of us at the time of requirement when that uh, when we want to put more input for a job my team is always ready why because we have emotional blending with each other right now coming to the next question now the greatest weakness again you have to talk about the peak weakness only at the time of your interview you don't have to Put your weakness forward because they are not going to help you to make it to a strength. But they want a person whose weakness is strength for a company. One more thing, apart from this question, I want to add one more. During the, uh, during any kind of interview, when you are talking about yourself, sometimes you say that uh, I'm uh, I I want to work only for two or three years. I want to collect money and then I uh, will open my business and I'll start my own venture. never do this 
whenever you are, if you have some planning, it is this, these plannings are for yourself, not to be discussed. Because if you are selected, they are selecting you, they are investing uh, on you for training uh, for one year or two year or three year, and you will leave the profile, it is lost for the country, right? So it is just against the policy of selection. So never talk about it, that this is what your planning is, and this is how you will be leaving the profile. Now, what is your greatest achievement? Suddenly, if this question is asked, what is your greatest achievement? Nobody will be able to answer. Only a person who knows himself very well, who has studied himself as a book and understood what was my achievement throughout my career. You can talk that I wanted to attain this much percentile, I had a few. I wanted to complete certain projects and certain assignments, I completed on time. It was a big challenge. So you can talk more about, you know, they want to understand what challenges you have taken and how uh, you have uh, uh, achieved those challenges. How good you were uh, uh, in a group as a leader that you have taken up a group. So here you want to talk more about your qualities, your passion. You were very passionate of doing this. You had a group of uh, people with you and you have taken all the group together and you have achieved that particular design or particular target that you wanted to achieve, right? Now, uh, where do you see yourself five years down the line? they ask you to, uh, you know, uh, 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 five years, 10 years, 15 years, then how you uh, talk uh, about it? They ask you to design your visiting card. You know, it's not a visiting card. What they want to see? How good you are at designing? No. They want to see what is your goal, what you are aiming at. A passionate person, especially for MBA, if they have that kind of passion, then only you can be a performer. A passionate person can only be a performer. If you have goals and desires inside your mind and heart, that burning belly, you will do it. You will get it. So that kind of person with that kind of aggression they want to see. So if you say, Ki, I'll be MD of the company. I will be CEO of the company. Talk relevant. You don't have to talk illogical. You have to talk more about logics. Uh, for after five years, what will be your de designation? What will be your salary? What you will be owing? Right? What are your career goals? Same question. See, all questions are interrelated to each other. And all, if you see, it is all depend upon SOC analysis. If you have done it very well, you will be able to answer all these questions very confidently. So what are your career goals? Come back to me when your goals are clear. If your goals if you are not set your goals short term and long term, how these goals are set? You have a long term goal. That long term goal can be channelized into short term goals. Then only you can reach to long term goals. CEO of the company will become. Okay, will become. Fine. But that is a long term goal. So. How, how, how you will reach there? What is your short-term goal? I will work hard for it. We don't want hard workers. The other question. Then what you will answer? They try to put you more into brainstorming type of question. The brain teaser. What is brain teaser question? One more, one more question to you. Brain teaser question. This is assignment for you. Go home and see uh, uh, on your net what are brain teasers. Okay, coming back to our question. Why you want to work in our organization? Because yours is a very esteemed organization, very big, very old, very nice. All this, so they know. Talk something else about the organization. What you will do? What are you talking about? I want to work in your organization because this is the company who take a lot of care of uh, their workers in their training and development. And I want to be into this company because I want to learn. I want to excel myself, right? So this is what how you can talk more good about it rather than why you want giving a, a very common answer which every student will give. So your answer should be different and very presentable with very confidence in your body language, with a smile on your face, 
before entering uh, for any interview how well you prepared about the company what you know about the company you can talk about the project sir i read about the company that company is taking up a new project and this is the project and um, if i will get the opportunity to be the part of the project it will be a great learning and i believe that my skills and work uh, uh, will definitely uh, uh, provide me this platform this is how you can put yourself right so what are your hobbies and interests ye bahut mazedar question hai hobbies and interests you know students they say you know gardening is my hobby reading is my hobby music is my hobby. you know messy dal do but my dear students these questions again if they want to pull your leg they can pull they will ask you okay reading is your hobby okay what last you read a husband bata di koi bhi book what portion of it you like that and why now what you will answer so whatever is your interest and hobby where you can answer those questions which is asked again based on your hobby you should able to answer them that should be your criteria that is how you have to uh, put your hobbies and interest now who is your role model and who is five okay the question is same but in different form who is your role model and why you should have a role model and you should have reason behind it why he or she inspires you. and how did he they inspired you till now aaj hi thodi na bana liya humne role model abhi baithe baithe inko bhi ye aapko pehle se pata hona chahiye okay what is the different between a good manager and a good leader a good leader is a good manager why is it a sanction and who is a good leader who is a good leader a good leader is a person who work with a group you should know how to work in a group if it is a group work you know when student they work in a group they try to uh, prove themselves that they have done that you no know, it was a group which has done that a co- good leader will able to manage the people with you the all all the uh, all the workers in your work uh, in a working atmosphere when you move on in a year or so how you will be a good leader they observe what is the difference between ek acha leader ek acha manager hota because a good leader can manage people and can make people do work with all kind of it's in bats he is able to manage because he had been a good leader and people listen to what he said martin narend modi ne bola khali bajao sabne khali bajaye diya jalao sabne diya jalao so he could to be a good leader yes why should we recruit you now here what you will talk why should the recruit you what for sure all student will say i i am good at this i am good at this what you will talk you should talk because i am very different from the students might be because my learnings and my understanding had been different because i have done some very unique and different kind of projects as you can see on my profile uh, i have taken certain assignments and uh, completed very successfully this is how you can talk now when you will talk they said what kind of assignment what was that now what you are doing interview do pattern ka hota hai ek to one they are asking and you are answering they are asking and you are answering right okay? and one kind of interview is you are bringing uh, 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 the interviewer to a such kind of platform which it it becomes a discussion and how it can happen it all depends on you. and it will it can only happen when you talk something about his interest and it is your interest and what is that common interest company and what does the company want a certain kind of profile where a student should, should possess certain kind of qualities for that particular person now what you have to do you have to talk more on those aspects and more on those area where the interviewer will find more interesting uh, interest to talk on those on those topics and automatically he will come to that background and you can start talking about the projects you have that is why i said 
it should be more of practical learning than the theoretical learning. So th this is how you will bring. And then once they start discussion, when the discussion is start, you are done. Because you know everything. You can talk about it. You have done research. You have done analysis. You have made a project to do. Ask uh, your teachers if good if you have a very good project report. Ask them to keep it in library for reference for other students. This should be uh, the process of learning and developing yourself. Now, what is your biggest failure or a challenge? Why why they are asking this question? They are asking. There's a what if behind. You sometimes, if you are facing some kind of challenges, and if you have failed in a project, what will be your next step? Will you give up, or will you start working more on it? And what was it? You will identify what was the reason of failure, and then you will again take it as a challenge and again start the same thing too, with an improvement mode to attain the target which you have failed. So this is what now. How you will identify this? This can only be identified if you have studied yourself well. जो sort analysis की बात बार बार मैं कर रही हूँ तो यही करो. It can only be done if you have studied yourself very well and you know yourself very well. Then only you will be able to answer all these questions. How will you contribute to our country if chosen? If you are chosen for a particular profile, what will be your contribution? तो कैसे आंसर करोगे? आप इसको बोलोगे सर यू कैन सी इन माई प्रोफाइल इट इज वेरी वेल रिटन देयर दैट दिस इज माई मेन एरिया वेर आई हैव वर्क वेरी वेल आई हैव डन माई प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस एंड आई एम एक्सपर्टीज ऑफ इट एंड डेफिनेटली विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ स्किल्स डेफिनेटली कम हु इज गोइंग टू गेट बेनिफिट विथ माई रिक्वेस्ट सी अगेन यू हैव टू Uh, uh, take some good quality words in your communication because they add value what you are doing if you know good words it will then more about your personality you will more emphasize on your skills right again the same question in a different form how will you add value to our organization if you are isme upar likha contribute kya karoge aur value kya karoge dono mein ek hi answer hai lekin do ma fir What are your expectations from our organization? क्या expectation? अच्छी salary मिलेगी, अच्छी salary, native town, native location पर मुझे recruit कर दिया जाए, भेज दिया जाए, right? Position अच्छी दे दीजिए. These all kind of expectations student put forward. But my suggestion for you students will be. your expectations uh, should be uh, like i want to learn more i want to explore i want to understand how the company works what uh, company should uh, uh, rely on me and give me opportunity to work on new projects to hum kya bata rahe hain isme ki hum company ke sath bahut lambe samay tak jude rehna chahte hain aur uske baad hum kuch aisa karna chahte hain wo zeal hai mere andar i want to do something different to show your enthusiasm to show your interest to work in a company so this should be the way to answer how do you deal with failures failures or criticisms ko kaise deal karte ho koi friend bol deta na tum ye tum bahut bura kaam karte ho aise mujhe bura lagta hai but all failures and criticisms are meant for learning why did i fail the question should be why why did i fail and why people criticize me what is the reason of criticism right sort analysis agar failure hai kya kya reason hai wo aapki weakness hai criticism agar logo ne criticize kiya hai to kya aapko as a challenge usko lekar us criticism ko se aap you have to improve yourself or that or you have to take a revenge right there is only two part either you become revengeful and take revenge or you accept the criticism as an improvement so both both are your choice so again you have to uh, how you uh, you have to give example here you have to tell a story this is what happened uh, 
uh, a few months back or few years back. This is how I overcome with this criticism or failure. And after overcoming, I was feeling uh, so energetic. I was so happy. People appreciated me. And all those kind of things which you can do. And again, you have to prepare yourself. These are the questions where you need to prepare. How you will talk. Then again, discuss a situation where you were a leader. Okay. I am a good leadership. Quality, if you are having a possessing that quality, that means you have taken uh, some uh, leadership also, right? So how you will define that? Any small incidents uh, with that leadership quality with a group of people and then you have attained certain target which you are focusing on, right? So this tariqe saab is a question to answer person. Then, Now, uh, what are the newspaper heading that grab your attention? Do you know why, why, what they want to know? They want to understand how frequently you are reading paper. Are you reading newspaper? Are you aware what is happening around? Uh, do you listen to news? Because all MBA students need to keep themselves updated. If you are updated, then you very good example updated we all uh, know this uh, live voice soap right so uh, live voice soap ki ekdam se bikri bad gayi garmi ke season mein the company was very happy wow uh, the sales increase ho gayi aur kaise increase ho gayi kya reason hua aur jab research ki pata kiya जाकर और रिसर्च किया गया तो पता लगा कि भैंसों को गाय भैंसों को नहलाने के काम में गर्मी के मौसम में साबुन इस्तेमाल हो रहा सो कंपनी इट वाज यू नो अ शॉकिंग न्यूज़ फॉर द कंपनी एंड देन व्हाट दे डिड पहले जो साबुन आता था अजीब सा एक रेड कलर का आता था वो तो वेरी स्टिफ यू नो दिस थिंग केक दे चेंजड द रैपिंग मटेरियल uh, they changed the soap appearance and everything got changed. So they are keeping upgraded themselves. So we upgrade updated karte rehna, aaju-baju mein kya ho raha hai, usse samajna, aaju-baju wali countries mein kya ho raha hai, thik hai na? You should be well versed. Globalization, right? Certain kind of topics when come the students they don't they're not able to talk more about right so there's so many things which you are still have to learn you have to put more inputs unless actually you have inputs nahi daloge tab tak koi result nahi aayega ek pauda hota hai na beej dalte hain usko proper khad pani aur energy nahi milta to it will not grow same is with us if we are not nurturing ourselves properly with pro proper uh, inputs uh, reading, watching. You know, there are only a few methods of improving. Reading, writing, listening. Right? Only three skills. If you have three skills, you can definitely be successful. Uh, do you want to ask, uh, want to know anything? Yeah, ask anything. You will ask question. Do you want to ask anything? 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 Please don't ask such kind of nonsense questions, right? You should ask, sir, uh, is company planning to come up with any new project right now? Because I would be more interested on in working on area of your interest. Talk about your interest. And uh, uh, it should be more of challenging profile where I want to accept some challenges. This is how you can talk uh, at the end with this question. Don't ask anything rubbish, else you can always also say, no, sir, thank you so much. Okay, so this uh, is uh, the basic process. Few questions I have discussed uh, where I feel that you can uh, talk uh, in this way. But strength, weakness, or opportunity threat pay, you should work on all of you, you should work, you should work uh, on these parameters uh, with uh, because goal setting, long term goal, short term goal, strength, weaknesses, your opportunity threat. So, you know, up, uh, if I'm talking about threat, you know, threat to you first of all, your colleagues, all, all uh, are creating threat to you because they all are into competition. 
try to identify a colleague in your class who is better than you and try to identify why and how then again it's a challenge how you can improve yourself mujhe dar lagta hai baat karne mein main baat nahi kar pata english mein baat nahi kar pata ya kar pati hu again there is a remedy stand in front of mirror uh talk about any topic start talking start record yourself मोबाइल से रिकॉर्ड करो पहले दिन तो एक हफ्ते के बाद अपने आप को फिर से ग्रूम करते रहो रोज विदाउट रिकॉर्डिंग अपने आप को मिरर के सामने बातें करते रहो टॉपिक्स पे आफ्टर टेन और फिफ्टीन डेज अगेन रिकॉर्ड योर सेल्फ नाउ एनालाइज बोथ द वीडियो यू विल फाइंड देर इज इम्प्रूवमेंट एवरी वीक दिस इज वन सेकेंड इज स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग इन ग्रो एनी थिंग एनी एनी टॉपिक start talking about it and talk in english try to bring new words right ek ye tarika se dusra you can talk to any call centers any time and uh, tell that there is a network issue and all those things in english so you're not seeing a person you're talking you can talk to any hotel you can call what are the facilities that you are providing you can talk to a gym so anywhere you can make a call where you don't know people and you can talk in english to them so that it is just to come out of your head yeah, these are few practices you can do there are certain walk ins go and give a walk in you can walk in interview though you don't uh, you don't have to get selected or rejected that is not a criteria it is the area of interview ask your teachers to organize a mock for you mock interview sessions you can have in college gd sessions and number of number of gd sessions you can have Uh, students are so crazy uh, uh, in our college they come early in the morning for gt before we reach just because they want to take up a session before uh, uh, they can take up okay? so uh, these are few tips which you can uh, you know, take up and uh, this is what i want to uh, talk all about so uh, if you have any question uh, uh, we can uh, take up the questions now ma'am i'm not able to get you Yeah, now you're up. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such an informative session. And I'm uh, very sure that students have learned a lot about joke discussions and interviews. And uh, you uh, left no aspect untouched. You've shared all the important questions that are usually asked in the interview, and you've shared all the tips and tricks that uh, students should uh, make use of while performing in a group discussion. so uh, but still we have a few questions from the students and uh, we would love if you answer those questions uh, so we have a student with the name preeti thakur and she is an mba student and she says that whenever uh, mba students go for the interview the most common question that is asked from them is that why did you choose mba so uh, what could be the most relevant answer for that see uh why others choose mba that is irrelevant why she has chosen this as a subject is the area of interest uh, my area of interest like she can uh, see mba students they have good communication skills and she identified herself uh, i don't know what skills she is possessing because she has to put her uh, skills uh, uh, with this and then then she has to associate with the answer that my communication skills are very good and i feel that i i can convince people i love uh, promoting things uh, promoting events pro promoting products uh, i love talking about uh, uh, myself or uh, i love uh, discussing on certain topics so this uh, this is what my likings are and i feel uh, with uh, this i feel uh, that i am very much confident uh, moving uh, with this so uh, this was the only appropriate area and the choice Where I could have entered, so I have uh, taken up uh, this as my uh, subject for career development. Of course, 
first one talking about uh, one specialization would definitely help right yeah uh, okay ma'am we have another student uh, aman is his name and he's from bba and he says that uh, interviewers usually ask this question that what are your weaknesses so what do they actually want to know are they trying to pull our leg at that time or they actually want to know what is our weakness and how should the student or the candidate answer okay. i have uh, uh, taken up this question uh, about strength and weakness uh, uh, so my dear student uh, in this you don't have to give your original weakness you don't have to talk to uh, uh, this is my weakness actually they want to know whether your weakness is uh, somewhere helping us out or no like i said na because being lazy lazy hona emotional hona so ye kuch areas hote hain jahan par where you can uh, put that your weakness is only your weakness but my weakness is strength for the company this is whatever weakness you have you have to project it as a strength for the company you don't have to discuss your original weakness your original weakness is for uh, converting from weakness to strength you have to work on those weaknesses तो सिर्फ पेपर में आपके डेवलपमेंट के लिए शेयरिंग के लिए नहीं राइट मैम एंड समटाइम्स बिकॉज़ आई आल्सो टीच द सेम सब्जेक्ट आई टीच देम बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन आई टीच इंग्लिश सो आई आल्सो टेल देम दैट यू नीड टू मॉडिफाई योर आंसर यू नीड टू मैनिपुलेट द इंटरव्यूअर दैट यू डोंट नीड टू एक्चुअली शेयर योर वीकनेस विद देम मे बी यू कैन टेल देम दैट आई हैव एक्चुअली वर्कड अपॉन माय वीकनेस एंड नाउ इट इज माय स्ट्रेंथ so that can also be useful i think yeah yes ma'am okay uh ma'am a student has has asked that what should be our outlook just a night before the interview should we uh, panic should we be prepared what should we be doing a night before the interview a night before uh, your interview you should sleep well because you have already prepared see uh, since all these uh, days you have been preparing and uh, Uh, your uh, profile your resume your bio data whatever you are making should uh, uh, should be very appropriate and you should uh, go through uh, you should know what you have written right there should be no fake information where you have to manipulate jab manipulation ka time aata hai na then you have to think a lot and you don't have to manipulate anything you are clear in your vision you know what you have to talk so don't manipulate in anything whatever it is there uh, it should be very clear and uh, uh, you should be you sh- your folder should always be prepared for any interview aap apna ek folder taiyar karke hamesha rakhein aap apne ek ya do dress jo interview mein pehnne wale hote hain usko hamesha ready rakhein so that you can sleep peacefully and wake up early in the morning fresh and uh, uh, reach your uh, interview place half an hour before that's true man reaching in time is yeah also seen many interviewees actually uh, fidgeting with their documents when they are in the front of the interviewer they don't have yes. to organize the documents so that's yes. also something that of course ma'am okay uh, ma'am deeksha she is also an mba student and she wants to know that how long should our introduction be should it be very explanatory or should it be just brief you know it all depends on interviewer sometimes it happens they don't stop you they just say to listen how long you can speak so your preparation should be for maximum 5 to 6 minutes you should talk more right and unless until they stop you so aapki preparation to 6 minute ki honi chahiye par shuru ke 3 minute pe strong honi chahiye ki wahan par aapne sab kuch bata dena which is not there on your resume or profile which you, you should speak something extra more about your skills uh, more about your uh, area of interest so all these things when it is about initiation of the group discussion uh, many students actually start speaking because they want to initiate the group discussion so sometimes uh, it's like a chaos and they don't know how to take turns so what to do in that situation see in that, that situation only one person will automatically speak others will uh, sit quietly otherwise what will happen when i can uh, group disqualify ho jayega जब स्टार्ट होता है जैसे ही स्टार्ट बोला तो आपकी अगर पिच जिसकी हाई हो वही वो टॉपिक को ग्रैप कर लेगा और जो रेलिवेंट बात कर रहा होगा नॉलेजेबल बात कर रहा होगा ऑटोमेटिकली सब उसकी बात सुनने लगेगी तो आपका फर्स्ट पॉइंट इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए कि ऑटोमेटिकली अदर टॉपिक स्टॉप से स्टार्ट लिस्ट 
हम कब सुनते हैं जब क्लास में कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक होता है तो ऑटोमेटिकली सब चुप हो जाते हैं तो आपके पास भी कुछ ऐसा होगा जो बाकियों के पास नहीं है प्रेजेंट करने के तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपको वो टॉपिक मिल जाएगा the best thing is keep on listening right try to uh, recollect some good points aap apne paper mein likh lijiye aur usse connected kuch to aapko aata hoga aisa to hai nahi ki kuch bhi nahi aata hoga you know something about it you recollect those good points and you start as my friend uh, she said this and she said that do teen point to recollect karke aur usme apna ek uh, vision dal ke apne aap ko introduce kar do so we have a lot of questions about group based question actually uh, sometimes we do not like the views of uh, the other candidates and as you've already told that it's uh, very bad on the part of the participants if they start saying that no you are wrong or your viewpoint is wrong but sometimes the situation is such that in the heat of the moment you start saying such things so if you have already made the mistake then what can you do to uh, improve or maybe what can you do in that situation that uh, you are not disqualified from the group discussion you can uh, take up the talking topic and you can apologize my friend i was little bit arrogant uh, when you were talking about this because uh, there was certain reason which i want to put forward and then why you were arrogant at that point of time and then with what uh, different uh, uh, you know uh, uh, knowledge you want to share at that point of time which was contradictory and you have to prove of it right then you can talk like uh, 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 certain certain magazine or certain certain dates newspaper it was this 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 and then aap tabhi apologize kar sakte ho jab aapke paas uska uh, valid proof ho, right then only you can uh, put your word forward otherwise there is no point of saying sorry i misbehave with you and uh, what was the reason of misbehavior that means you were somewhere you find that he is wrong and you are right and then you have to prove why he was wrong and why you are right unless until with that uh, proof you cannot apologize you have to disqualify yourself because misbehavior is not uh, acceptable in gym apologizing with a uh, proof and with a proper justification is the best way yeah all right ma'am uh, ma'am if uh, we have to go for an interview what is the right dress code for girls girls actually you uh, get confused that whether they should wear the indian formals or the western formals so is there any specific criteria that uh, maybe according to the culture of the company you need to get dressed or is everything uh, welcomed if it is formal everything is welcome which you are feeling comfortable with right uh, either you can uh, uh, wear a uh, uh, western uh, uh, outfit or uh, formal but it should be formal whatever you are wearing should be formal uh, if you are wearing trouser and shirt t-shirts are not allowed shirt and then combination you should see that what combination you are wearing and you should uh, put yourself uh, in a very decent mood and then you, even your shoes what you are wearing along with it then your nail paint your nails your hair so you know ev- everything is a combination it's again a uh, you know one session whole session for this and um, there's a certain tips for the students to wear and uh, if you are uh, wearing salwar kurta it is uh, don't wear salwar you wear uh, leggings or churidar and uh, uh, cotton kurta is if it you are putting it is very nice and, uh, even uh, if you want to put uh, chunni and all And it should be cotton. There are certain, uh, you know, uh, these things that you have to keep it in your mind how you are uh, carrying yourself. That's true, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, and uh, before the interview, should we prepare something about the company's profile? Should we know something about the company that we are uh, going to the interview? Yeah, definitely, you should. You should know about the company, uh, their policy of recruitment. and uh, for the profile they are coming for and uh, what they are looking for the profiles basically in a student what they what qualities they are looking for and what are the new upcoming projects uh, uh, how company work so all these thing they should okay ma'am uh, that's all for 
for the questions. Thank you so much for answering all the questions very, very patiently. And I'm sure that students are very clear and their doubts are also sorted. Uh, Ma'am, actually, we would love to have you here among us again. If uh, the circumstances permit, then, of course, in the campus. And if they don't, then, of course, uh, through virtual workshops, we would love to have you again. And uh, it was a lovely session, and I'm sure that uh, students have also learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, students. And thank you, colleagues. On behalf of our honorable president, Sardar uh, Rishpal Singh Ghaliwal, the directors, principals, heads, faculty, and all the students, I take this opportunity to thank you, ma'am, for sharing with our students the tips and tricks to perform well in group discussions as well as in the interviews. And uh, we look forward to having you again, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, colleagues. And thank you, ma'am. Thank you, students. Thank you so much, everyone.